YouTube, what is good, my blickers? How y'all living today, man? In my comment section, let me know how you how your day is. Cause today I had a good day, I guess. It's always a good day when you live and breathing and enjoying life and doing the things that you love to do. But before we start, bro, show us love and please like this video because we out here in the midst of a hurricane. Literally hours away from a hurricane. Came out here, had to get some content in. We was like, man, we don't want to be stuck in with no power. And not able to get content for y'all boys. Because we don't know how long that may last. We don't know how much damage this thing will do. So please, you know, keep us in y'all prayers. You know, send us good energy. You know, wish us luck. You know, hopefully everything goes smooth and it's not as bad as we think it is. Because right now it's category three. But we're here to see if this Siley CT2 was a good investment. Because a lot of y'all really hate on budget optics. This is a budget optic. I think it only costed $109, honestly. A but a hundred and nine dollars for a budget optic, well, optic that really is shockproof, waterproof, a few other things. You know, my guys like T Glizzy, um, Melly, Melly Five Five Six NATO, and Draco Wick, really Draco Wick, really put that put the side to the test. If y'all want to check out his channel, that boy is a crazy, really crazy left hand shooter angle. I see one of the best. But we're testing out that side to see if it was well worth. The money spent, you know, we got a target at about uh, 40, 30, 40 to 35 yards. Got this thing kind of sighted in, but I'm going to see how well I can hit and how accurate this thing is. And another thing that I want to mention is shake to weight. So, you know, you sit that thing down, you pick it up. You don't have to worry about turning the button on every time before you use it. Shake to weight, best option. For any red dot in my opinion but i left it on in my bag for about a month probably well over a month it's still lasting me to this day bright as ever it literally hasn't moved hasn't changed positions hasn't dimmed down nothing like the product is doing what it's marketed to do you know what they what they're marketing as their product is actually doing that it's actually doing the job pretty good over these past months. I had it well over a year, honestly. It's been on my bill. I know y'all seen this bill. My one of my favorite dagger builds. You know. But we're gonna get this thing tested out. See if it's accurate. See if this thing hold up. See if it's still, you know, reliable, still usable in a in a situation that I may need to use it any day. So let me stop rambling on and get to this video. Like, comment, subscribe, man. In my comments, let me know other bu budget optic brands that, that may be good as Siley or better, especially better than Vector Optics because I didn't have a good time with Vector Optics. Their rifle optics are perfect, had no issue with it, but their pistol optics, can't say the same. I wish I could, but I can't. But y'all boys, let me know in my comments, send me some um, companies that may be good to test out for optics or any other accessories that y'all may want to see me test out and run out here at the range. But let's get some shots on target. Let's see what we do. Yeah, man. Like I said, I don't know if y'all seen my video before this. You probably have. My DIY stands don't cost that much, honestly. Probably less than $100 if you really want to go crazy with it. You can get thicker poles. It costs a little bit more. But I already got the um, parts list and everything that you need to know about this stand. How to do it on your own so you can pop up to the range and set up your little steel target so you can get, get a good get a good feel when you hear that ping and knowing you actually hitting your target but i already got something loaded up i'm just gonna get this thing test it out and see what we can do oh tripping hit oh that hit hit miss miss i'm rushing those shots honestly Three. Let me stop rushing. Three. All right. So, as y'all seen, it wasn't the best, but it was pretty decent. And let me let y'all see what I'm looking at. Y'all can see the dot's pretty on point. I'm not gonna lie to you. I may have to do a little bit more work with it to get a good point of reference on where it's actually sighted in at. 
and where do I need on where I need to put the dot to actually hit that target more consistently but so far so good it's not loose unlike my last optic stand close so only thing we need to do is get some more shots out see how we can let's we'll see how well we can hit and we're gonna get some POV we're gonna let y'all shoot y'all wanna shoot I'm gonna pass the block to y'all that's what we're gonna do load up and let y'all shoot yeah man I know y'all been training so it's gonna be a breeze All right, first shot we're going. There we go. Y'all waking up a little bit. Oh. Hold on. Y'all waking up. There y'all go. Come on. There y'all go. Freak, I'm shaking. Hold on. Oh. It's all me now. I'm tripping. Uh, y'all see how shaky I am? Yeah. It's literally because I'm sitting behind the camera like this, y'all boys. <laughs> I'm like this trying to look through the camera. But yeah, man. I just wanted to give y'all a little POV of that thing, man. Let y'all boys see how that thing was <laughs> see what i was looking at feel me things pretty smooth man as i can see it's pretty much then where i'm where i set it in at uh no cap so i'm gonna get some more shots on target see how we do and you see my boy over there <sighs> shooting the targets down going crazy that boy stupid with that psa you know ak all right yeah man before i shoot again i just want to do a little quick test Cause why not do a quick drop on it because it's supposed to be drop proof so hopefully it don't crack hopefully you know it stays zeroed in and then we're gonna go we got a bigger target more body silhouette pretty much the same distance as the other one but let's see y'all boys wish you luck i don't think that was good enough let me do another one hold on okay 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 that one was right 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 on the ground, still looking, still looking decent, honestly. Still looking decent, hasn't moved. So, I'm gonna just drop it again. Third time's a charm, hopefully it don't break. Oh, I don't normally do this type shit. Feel me, I love my gun, but yeah, man, let's see what we do. Got a little midget target, about 30, 40 yards away, like I said. And let's see if we can get all of the Round this time, we're trying to go all round, all 15 on target, man. Y'all good? All 15 on my, on my All right, y'all boys. I know I said it be with good, but hold on. We might have just actually broke slightly because look at that. It's all the way to the left, man. It's all the way to the left, man. Y'all supposed to be shot proof, all that proof. Hold on. We might have just broke slightly. Y'all boys, y'all see me drop it, and now it's way off center. So let me get this thing back centered. <sighs> all right now we got it back centered a little bit now let's see if it stays man because what the hell this is my first time my first time seeing a siley do this so maybe i've broken a siley y'all boys say siley might not might not be holding up to the standards that they promote let's see see if it stays centered all right move Oh my Jesus. When I say that thing lost all zeroing, like look at it. After one shot, one shot is all the way to the right. I want to say all the way to the right. But it's to the right compared to this target. Hey, Glizzy! Glizzy! Cold! They just went cold. What's up? My bad, y'all, but look. Look at this. Compared to the target, bro. Look, bro. It's totally off center, bro. Three drops off center and then re -centered. Shot it once, went off center. Well, I shot it twice. But yo, this is crazy. Gotta recenter it. Let's see if it holds, man. Sadi, see, 
CT2. Man, I had y'all for a minute, y'all. Y'all been holding up as far as lifetime and battery time, but I dropped it. Y'all supposed to be shock proof. I normally don't do that to my weapon, so y'all got to like. I kind of regret doing it because I think I broke my Sally for real. It's literally not. It's not staying zero now, so what the hell? I'm gonna recenter it and see if it stays zero. Got it back centered. Uh, hopefully it stays like that and we can get shots on target, bro. What the hell? Missed. Missed. Oh, that was me. That was me. All right. It definitely did move though. It stayed zero for, I'd say the first seven to eight shots. And then that thing went all the way to the left now. Now it's completely to the left. <clears throat> for my POV, it looks way more drastic. I mean, way more dramatic of a change than what is on this um, camera. But yo. The change is crazy. This thing, to me, this, the dot is like literally way over here. But either way, y'all see that it's not staying centered. So what we're going to do is load up some more. Try and get maybe a mag dump. I don't know. Just really see if we can get some consecutive shots. Really a whole mag on this target without it moving. But if not, y'all already know. Definitely not EDC rated. All right, right now we're just gonna go a little POV so y'all can see what I'm, the issues that I'm having. If I can hit for y'all boys, hopefully. A little hard on the camera. I showed y'all how I was shooting earlier. We gonna see. Oh, that's me. It moved to the left a little bit. All right, those shots I think are on me. What the hell? I was doing good at first. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I don't know, bro. It's a little iffy because, as y'all see, right now it's staying, I don't know. I wouldn't say it. it's staying pretty much centered, kind of. It moved over to the left a little bit, but I don't really like that because, to me, that throws me off. And I'm shaking a little bit. So it's getting a little heavy. All right. I'm going to get one more run. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it over just a little bit. Give it one more run, see if I can hit all my shots on target, and then you know, let y'all boys, y'all let y'all boys be the judge if this thing is EDC ready for just a range tour, but just something to make your gun look a step pleasing, you know? All right, I just discovered the issue. I was talking a lot of mess, talking a lot of trash, but it's still not good, but it may be on me, I don't know. Maybe just the screws may need some new Loctite, but this optic, the optic man started to get loose. It started to come off. The screws, the left screw started to come loose. So that's why I was bouncing left and right, left and right. But hopefully it stays on point so I can get a full 15 on target. Let's see. Oh, I load it. Let me get right. This gun is a little hot, but let me get right. Ooh, missed the first one. Oh my gosh, the dot moved like crazy. The dot moved like crazy. Jesus. <sighs> yeah, man. I think this EDC rated. That dot moved all the way to the left. It was in the middle, but all the way to the left. But I'm just going to use the iron sights. See what I can do, man. Oh, the dot. Hmm. 
Man. Let's see where this dot at right now. But I can tell y'all boys for sure this thing is not on target. Not on target. It's literally like on the left post of the back iron sight for my POV. It's literally on the outside of the left post of my POV. Camera not really catching too much, but it's really not holding zero at all. Not holding zero at all. So y'all boys, let me know. Would y'all grab it? Is it worth it? Worth the $109 or should y'all just save up and get something else? Let me know. And in my comments, like I said, let me know some other brands to test out that's not well known that makes it a sleeper. We're trying to find the sleeper sales. Trying to get rich in the street, just grab your blick and stay on P. Gloss and trace inside the G. I'm about to scan with SRT. Why he play with STK? We turn that boy to broccoli. I can't trust no hoe, no phones allowed. Can't get the drop on me. Crazy bitch, come eat the dick up. Get the fuck up out of me. She like product. I like sex. Love, keep that pussy with